Hey guys, I'm Katrina Denise S. Belay, a grade 11 student of Rizal National Science High School. As our project, we are asked to make a tutorial video about our topics in our pre-calculus subject. So today, I'm going to give you a brief introduction about the differences between a series and a sequence. So hope you'll enjoy watching! So, this list of numbers is what we call a sequence. So, in this sequence, I have here numbers. So, it is called term. So, these numbers are all called terms. This is the first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term, sixth term. These terms in the entire sequence is related to each other. So first term is related to the second term. Second term is related to third term. So if we add, so as we can notice, if we add 2 to the first term, it becomes the second term. If we add 2 to the second term, it becomes the third term. So yeah, so on. Suppose I have here a list of numbers. 2, 4, 6, 8. So this is called a sequence. But... When I write it as S of N is equal to 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8, this will now then be called a series. This symbol represents a series. It is called a sigma. Sigma. So I write here N is equal to. So, n is equal to 1 is the lower boundary of the series. So, 4 is indicates when it ends. So, example, I write here 2n. Now, I have here this sequence. So, all we need to do is to substitute it. So, it indicates that we will start at 1. So, 2 times 1, 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. So, this is our first term. Next, 2 times 2 plus 1 is equal to 5. Next, 3. 2 times 3 is equal to 6 plus 1. We now have 7. And it says that we end at the 4. So, 2 times 4 plus 1 gives us 9. So, what I have here now is a sequence of number so now let's write it in a form of series so we just need to write it as 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 so now I have here a sequence and a series